uh, to jump into the news, um, I, th- I think I'd mentioned it earlier, like like the news we had done last week, it was all just kind of older stuff that we hadn't had the chance to get to. And it was a slow news week because it's the holidays. So mm-hmm. it was just like, oh, cool. I don't have to write stuff for a while. And uh, yeah, a whole bunch and of stuff just popped out into it. Open. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not like there, there was like any kind of terrorist attack going on or anything. But uh, yeah, mm-hmm. n- news happened. Yeah. Gave, gave me news the important stuff in life speaking of punching nazis oh oh that's a good segue you should be proud of that there you go yeah. uh bethesda has announced that machine games is working on an indiana jones title which i i've been saying it for fucking forever not not specifically indiana jones but machine games has i i with the wolfenstein games at least um they have such a masterful uh, craftsmanship when it comes to storytelling when it comes to gameplay character building and all that like I, i've been saying it's like look i know uh 343 has been kind of doing like a kind of eh job with the halo franchise and so when i was mm-hmm. thinking about like oh what are some first person shooter companies that, that would make a great fucking halo game like machine games was constantly at the top of them just like they could really uh put a nice spin on this but uh as sarah hinted um yeah, them working on Indiana Jones games kind of plays to their strength because they are still going to be punching Nazis. So <laughs> it's, it's right up their alley. And like another reason why this excites me so much. A, I'm just I I love the Indiana Jones franchise next to the Haunted Mansion. My favorite Disneyland ride is the Indiana Jones Adventure. Like it's just that's like my that's one of my sole reasons for going to Disneyland uh, on top of other stuff. But like them making an Indiana Jones game excites the hell out of me because of how cinematic they made Wolfenstein handling an actual property that's based off of a movie like I like I don't know just the whole idea of them doing an Indiana Jones and with how buck wild they went with the Wolfenstein stories Mm -hmm. they can even go more buck wild with an Indiana Jones story I mean I just just, mythical shit I just trust them on every single front like when you think of I, I mean, before it kind of it probably would have been Bioware. Like if we had just come off like Mass Effect two or three, I've been like, yeah, fuck yeah, Bioware. But I have like absolute fucking faith in Machine Games to uh, go ahead and do it justice. And I, I can just imagine the board meeting when um, when Bethesda is going to them saying like, look, you have all these properties you can pick. Which one do you want? And then mm-hmm. I, I don't know who the CEO is, he, but he probably slammed his hand on or his fist on the freaking table. He's like, we need to be able to punch Nazis. Do you have one of those IPs? <laughs> uh, story, story, uh, we have indiana jones we'll take it <laughs> we'll take it have you uh, uh have you played any of the wolfenstein games bronson yeah i played through the first one i played through a little bit of the second one i'm glad that they're getting an opportunity not to say like wolfenstein isn't like a big franchise <clears throat> big franchise it's big deal mm-hmm. it's 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 major major league stuff and I think it's interesting, like, I think at this point, LucasArts is doing more and more stuff. Um, they're not LucasArts, Lucas, Arts, Lucas Lucasfilm Games or whatever they're calling it. They've established this stuff and kind of as part of their rollout, every franchise that they have is kind of getting play. Like, Indies going with Machine Games and Bethesda and then Star Wars is getting their stuff maneuvered a little bit. I think we're going to get into that further, but... It's interesting. It feels like they're kind of doing what Marvel games did back in the day where they took all their licenses back and they're like, all right, each property is getting a specific developer that we handpick. Like, we'll keep our mobile games. Those make money. That's fine. Yada, yada, yada. We have, we want our console games or our bigger games need to be quality first. So it's like Insomniac got Spider-Man, Square Enix got Avengers, Telltale got Guardians of the Galaxy, there's a new Marvel vs. Capcom. Now, some of that stuff didn't pan out, but that was clearly the idea. Right. It's it's more adding to like a general portfolio to keep um their franchises like in the good grace of like uh what's what's the word I'm looking for? For the public conscious. Like even if it doesn't mm-hmm. necessarily uh sell well, as long as they keep that that hype train going. Yeah, exactly. A part of me wonders if Microsoft hadn't had bought Bethesda, if this would have even been happening. I would imagine mm. this has been in the works. I feel for- not like not like saying that in like in like a bad way. Like that's totally not what I'm getting at. But having Microsoft behind them and like Microsoft, either Disney went to them or they went to Disney and they're like, look, we have these story based studios 
that we would love to use some of your properties and make story based games out of. And yeah, but that you Bethesda and story, you can argue with a lot of people about whether Bethesda is good at telling like legit stories, but I argue that Machine Games is their best story based studio that they have. I would agree. And, and with them just going like, oh, hey, we have this company who has made these amazing like cinematic story based games. We would like to use one of your properties. And a, a part of me just wonders if Microsoft had like had like a hand in helping them reach out to Disney or Disney reaching out to them. I think because, because I feel like if Disney just saw they did a game about punching Nazis, Disney's going to back away from that really hard. Not not because you're punching Nazis because because that's a good thing, but because you know their family fa- family friendly branding and their imagery, like they would have been like, oh, we don't know, but with Microsoft behind them. I feel like they're like, okay, you can hit the you can hit the yeah. thing that we're looking for. I yeah. think they hand pick machine games, I have to imagine. Mm-hmm. I, think, I think they were like, All right, everyone here, like they got a list of people, like, all right, give us your pitch. This is how I suspect the bond stuff went for IO as well. Where mm-hmm. they're like, Okay, pitch it pitch it and go for broke. Cause like think about it for like from like the initial surprise, I'm like of IO getting a Bond game. I'm like, wait, that fits perfectly. Same thing like with machine games and like an Indiana Jones game. Even if it's not a first person game, that feels like that's a good fit. Like we that are... got... Sorry, go continue. I was just gonna say it sounds like a fucking uh, match made in heaven. Like they just slot in so yep. freaking nicely. I mean, I was gonna say we are failing to mention that Todd Howard is executive producing this. Like it's not just machine games doing this. Like they, but as the games confirmed during during the teaser, Todd Howard was, would serve as an executive producer. I take that title with a little bit grain of salt oh. because producer and executive producer roles can mean so many different things. Like, uh, but it's, like on but how hands on they Todd, are. That that Todd's attached to it in some way, and plus, he, apparently, a couple months ago, he did a interview with someone about being bought by microsoft he was teasing indiana jones he had indiana jones props yeah he pulled a he pulled a phil spencer having in the background of his fucking zoom calls and then also i actually ended up finding out because there was someone on twitter uh uh, at jordan oleman who downloaded the the trailer in h hd because we obviously knew that that they would hide something in this in this trailer from his tweet it looks like machine games indiana jones product is set in vatican's city october 1937 mm-hmm. mm, okay Which, so isn't that before most of the movies uh i don't know um uh but it says the main thing spot in the in the trailer is it is a travel ticket ticket mentions that he's on embarking on an overnight service to rome and then um and then like oh it uh, there is somehow there's a typed page in this trailer that's hella blurry using an hd trailer he found out that it that is a it is a message from from indy saying i will be arriving in rome which means we are getting the 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 da vinci code on heroin and i'm here for it would you say the year was for this one? 1937 from what this from what this, so guy this got is after the, the ark of the covenant and like right before in India has uh, baby Shia LaBeouf. According to the website I'm reading right now. Baby Shia so it'd be after the main three movies. But mm-hmm. it's just incredibly okay. interesting that they're going that machine games chose to go for like a Vatican because again, with what they did in Wolfenstein, are we going to punch the Pope? Is the Pope going to be like a Nazi? I would, like, I, would oh. I would love to play Assassin's Creed 2 again. <laughs> I was about because it's like that's that's like my only fucking thought is Assassin's Creed Two. I'm like, oh god, is the Pope gonna be a Nazi? Are we gonna have to like pistol whip the Pope? And you get a joke? That's gonna that's gonna be the <laughs> thumbnail for this. It is it is it is machine games. I'm not I'm not gonna discount anything. Mm-hmm. Like with their crazy ass and Wolfenstein while writing, I'm not gonna discount anything. I am not. I'm not. I'm not taking anything off the table, and that's what excites the hell out of out of me is putting a studio like them in charge of of an Indiana Jones property because it's like we've had un, Uncharted for the past ten or so years. That's basically just been like mm-hmm. the video game version of Indiana Jones, kind of. Mm-hmm. So it'll be really interesting to see an actual studio take on a original Indiana Jones story 
And I mean, maybe Disney got the story and okayed it. We don't know, but it's, I guess, Bethesda confirmed that this is an original story done by Machine Games. I think, so, what's, I think what's really interesting about this uh, situation is that people have brought up the question of whether this will be exclusive because people are already having this discussion with the Bethesda games in general oh, no, if um, if they're going to be coming to their competitors, which mm-hmm. would be, um, um, I guess, not necessarily PC because of Game Pass, but uh, ma- mainly Sony. And I, I know people are saying like, oh, Indiana Jones is too big of a property to, to be exclusive to just Xbox. And I'm just thinking like, one of PlayStation's biggest games right now is fucking Spider-Man. Spider-Man, yeah. Which, so, like, so, it's not something I expected to be, like, full exclusive. Exactly. So if Spider-Man can be exclusive, I, I sure as hell don't see uh, why that would not be the case for Indiana Jones as well. But, I think it depends. I think I think it honestly does depend. I think... I suspect this was probably happening before Microsoft came in, because this is the kind of stuff, like... They have been lighting this stuff up from Jump Street, like Lucasfilm games. Like it was one day it's Indiana Jones, second day it's Ubisoft Star Wars. Like this is stuff has been in play for a while. Yeah, it doesn't happen Bethesda overnight. Stuff, it, yeah. yeah. Uh, here, reading from Xbox era, I I, I googled of when Phil Spencer ta- spoke about exclusivity because of Bethesda. He said, "quote I don't want to flip about that. This this deal was was not." done to to take games away from another player base like that nowhere in this documentation that we put together was how do we keep other players from 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 playing these these games we want more people to be able to to play games not fewer people to be able to to go play games but but i'll also say in in the model i'm just answering directly the question that you had and then he can 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 continues on so do i think this this is going to be exclusive no is this specifically in regards to the bethesda acquisition or because because like so that was back from uh, like, what was November, like so. November or something like that. Yeah. Yes, but I but I just remember him being adamant on saying like we're not going to take games away from other other players. Do do I think that there's going to be Xbox ex- exclusivity for some Bethesda games? Yes. Do I think really big titles like like the the next Elder Scrolls? Star Starfield? I don't know why I almost called it Starseed, but Sky- it's but Skyrim it's Two. Yep. Yeah, uh, I I highly <laughs> doubt that Indiana Jones is going to be an exclusive. Also, do you think Lucasfilm would allow them to make it an exclusive? I, I, I absolutely like, think so. But if um, they're going for quality over but just, money. But uh, just going back to that article, like the way I I took it as, and it's kind of the way that they've done Minecraft. If that if that game already exists on the competitor's platform. Oh, then then they'll it. they'll go in and support it, but is I is like as far as going, f- um, moving forward, I I can absolutely see those going exclusive. 